Hey everyone, it's Justin with My Man Justin's Collectible Emporium coming at you with another video. This video I will be showcasing one of my own sets that I'm collecting and investing in. It is a complete Reverse Hollow EX Dragon Frontiers set. Now this channel is for people that just appreciate looking at cards. It's for collectors that want to add a more in-depth understanding to their collections to add value. And it is for buyers and sellers and investors to give you some insight into certain cards, to give you a bit of a market analysis, so you can also have some better buying practices to help you out. So, with that being said, we'll get right into it, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so this is the first video of a set that I am collecting myself uh, for my personal collection, personal investment, and I just wanted to go over for you. It is a complete reverse hollow EX Dragon Frontiers set and I think this is a really good set to collect for a number of reasons and I'll go over it for you so as you can see the EX Dragon Frontiers reverse hollows and all the reverse hollows in the EX series sets the reverse hollow cards had the logo of the set printed on the card in the Pokemon art area and I think that looks really good I, I always thought it was a great little addition to these sets to have the logo like that I think it looks really great on the cards and also with this set you'll notice that in this set, every single card is Delta species. And what Delta means, um, especially if you're someone who's into math, it means change. It's the symbol that is used for change. So they are the changed species. So the type of the Pokemon, like Melodic here, she's normally a water type. And now it's the fire type. The changed species is the fire type. And the artwork is great on these. And this first page are all the rares in the set. Now I will point out that one of the issues with this set, so keep in mind that this was released in I believe 2006, and this is the time when Pokemon was at its low point. People stopped playing and buying cards as much. There is actually fewer of these cards printed because there was less of a demand. So these cards are actually literally more rare. They're more scarce. So there's fewer of these cards printed than normal sets. So the reason I mention this is, is they actually had some issues in this set with these print lines. You can see right there the print quality was just a little lower on this set so there's these issues with print lines on a lot of these cards so if you're going to be collecting it I don't believe you can get a PSA 10 on a card that has a print line because that's the whole point of the PSA 10 is that you don't even get it straight out of the pack. It's kind of a PSA 10 is supposed to be a kind of a freak occurrence. Okay. So like I said, all of the cards in this set are Delta species. So it's cool to see that variation for all the Pokemon. It's something that you don't get to see normally. It makes this set very unique because you get to see a different type for every Pokemon. There's a grass type Snorlax right there. And just to point out a few cards that are a little more valuable this Snorlax would be one of them to get this in mint condition you're gonna spend anywhere from ten to twenty dollars and one of the reason I think and this is a really good investment this set is I think these cards are undervalued because if you try to buy a pack a booster pack of a card in this set you're going to spend 150 to 250 dollars. So, and you only get one reverse hollow per pack. So, 
it's um, for the price you can get a lot of these cars right now on eBay although they're getting fewer and fewer and the ones that are left are getting more and more expensive because I think the market is adjusting and realizing that these cards were undervalued uh, so they're getting a little more expensive because I was able to get a lot of these cards for two and three dollars each not these rares so much although even a few of them I even got some of the rares for three dollars this is another um, more sought after of the rares the Tropius um, but yeah if you look on eBay now you'll only see a few it, maybe maybe even none on some of them of the reverse hollows and by the way this is another this is a, this is the first uncommon in this set and the only ones left on eBay as of right now this is a the cheapest one is like 10 or 15 dollars so it's starting to catch up people are starting to buy up the cheaper ones because they realize the same kind of the same thing I did and they're becoming more expensive so it's a good it's, it's, it's another good thing to look at uh, especially for the investing side of things is uh, valuation of cards uh, in regards to their scarcity like like I said this set is actually a more scarce set there was fewer of these cards printed it was during a time when Pokemon was less popular so as you can see the the art on the cards are, are great and it's great to see um, they, they, do, they do this a lot with this set there's several of the same card in different Delta species so we have the psychic curlia here and the fire type curlia here and they're great beautiful cards they look great the Pokemon itself is shiny sometimes in the reverse hollow but sometimes it's shiny in the background like usual so you got a lot of variation I mean I would say variation is the name of the game with this set it's very unique it's very diverse in the art in the types the way the hollow is, just everything about it. Uh, I'll note, I'll note too. This Dragonair, the pre-release card in this set is actually the Dragonair, and in this time, it doesn't look like the Clefable or the Gyarados or the Cedra. It has like a little Pokeball, and it says pre-release, and those are around fifteen to twenty dollars if you're into collecting pre-release cards which I think is a, a nice set actually I really like the way it looks with that pre-release logo there and I will actually do another video just about promo cards and pre-release cards and just kind of cards that weren't uh, released normally in sets that were given out at events and things like that this Bagon is definitely one of my favorite Bagon arts out of all the cards. Water type Bagon, he's like surfing, doing his thing. Got the Great Dragon Fr Frontiers logo. Bagon himself is shiny. It's a great card. So again, on eBay right now, these are really hard to find. They're getting more and more scarce. I mean, remember that eBay is probably the best place to find Pokemon cards. It's the most known place and it's a worldwide network. And when you go on eBay and you see a card that there's one card on there, I mean, that tells you something. I mean, you can search even normal base set cards. Like if you were to search base set Mewtwo right now, there would probably be hundreds of listings. You search one of these, you'll see one or two. So this is this is some pretty serious uh, uh, market information right now. Um, it's the kind of information that you can act on. And uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, that's that Smeargle is another one of the cards in this set that is a bit more expensive. It's a bit more sought after. This Elekid is another one bit more sought after and it's just a common 
but I think those are going for like five to eight dollars and going up in price. And again, just like the Curlia, we have the Psychic and Fire type Ralts. Two Pupitars as well. Two Nidorans. So it's just cool to see, you know, all, all your Pokemon in a different type. You don't see that in any, any other set, uh, for the most part. There are, there is other EX sets like Delta Species, Holon Phantoms, but I don't believe those have every card uh, Delta Species. Whereas Dragon Frontiers, every single card in the set is Delta Species, Chain Species. This Fall Picks is going to be a card already, you know, going up in value worth about ten dollars. Because of course, Volpix is a more uh, popular Pokemon because there's a lot of Volpix and Ninetales collectors. Now this card right here too. This one was probably one of the most expensive Reverse Holo cards I had to pay for. I think I paid twelve dollars for this, and the ones left on eBay are like twenty dollars. And I think there's maybe one more. So again, super rare. It's not easy to find these. They're getting more and more rare. And once they're gone, I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, hope you get the reverse hollow. You know, out of the what 90 reverse hollows in the set, you're gonna pay 250 dollars for a booster pack to get the reverse hollow you need. I mean, good luck with that. That's that's quite a gamble. So here we're getting toward the end, which is of course where the trainers are. And notable trainers. Some of these are reprints from Aquapolis. I believe I believe Copycat was was a reprint. I know that, for example, I think Professor Oak's research was, but I know that Boost Energy was for sure. This was in Aquapolis, which is another set I'm collecting that I'll, I'll show you in the future as well. That one I don't have complete yet though. <laughs> that one, that one is really expensive. Those cards. Um, are like minimum ten dollars each, even with commons. Although there there is some a little cheaper than that, and it's good to be smart about it when you're when you're collecting because this is this is also investing. I mean, there's people that have stock portfolios. Well, I have a Pokemon card portfolio, and I like having my assets in an art form because it's tangible. It's something that's appreciated and and it has a different kind of value than a stock, and I, I can appreciate it more, I can hold on to it, I can see it, I have more intimate knowledge of what I'm buying, unlike a stock where it's more speculative, although this is speculative too, you have to predict, uh, you know, like I'm doing with this, I'm predicting that because of the scarcity of this set specifically, and the nuances of it, like the Delta Species, and the Reverse Hollow, the, the logos, the different artwork, it's going to end up being a good investment. But I think I have, you have there's an ability to have a bit more of an intimate understanding of them, especially because I personally just have more understanding of Pokemon than the stock market. So that is the full reverse hollow set for Dragon EX Dragon Frontiers. I don't have all of the. Um, EX cards, so with these EX sets, the, the EX cards came after all of the uh, rares, uncommons, and commons, so that Salamence, and this, this set's great, this is another reason that I collected this set, is because all the EX cards in this set are all dragon type Pokemon, they're all really popular, sought after Pokemon. So it just kind of adds value to the set even more because, you know, Dragonite, hugely popular Pokemon, 
Salamence, hugely popular Pokemon. Latios and Latias, hugely popular Pokemon. And of course, I can't forget to show off the heaviest hitter in the whole set and what really makes this a good investment on top of everything. The Gold Star Charizard, of course, on its way to PSA. It's a great card. It's got to be one of my favorite Charizard artworks in the whole series. I mean, the shiny black Charizard, I think, looks awesome. And the Gold Star cards, I think, were really great because they are a unique set of their own. It's not like GX cards today are just, um, or I'm sorry, uh, Hyper Rare cards today are just uh, like that rainbow color version of the normal GX card in the set. The, the, the Gold Star cards, there's a Gold Star right there, are a, are a unique set of their own. And they're all and they're all shiny Pokemon too. It's always the shiny altered color variations of the Pokemon. So in the case of Charizard, it's black. And that's I think it's just another value point to this set that makes it worth uh, collecting. And this card will be going to PSA, um, and I hope I get a nice grade. It's going to be the kind of card I'm going to keep for an investment long term. As you can see, the back looks really nice. Uh, it's not going to be a PSA 10. It's got a nick right there. Very obviously, there is some extremely light wear on the bottom border here. But for the most part, it's really nice. There's actually a tiny, see that? There is a little crease on the side there, kind of tragic, but I think it'll still get a fairly high grade, and that crease is so light that you can't even see it looking at the card head on. So, there it is. I'll flip back to the first page for a sec, because I didn't really get to off these cards too much. This, I wanted to point out this Nine Tails. This is another very popular card, just like the Vulpix. And again, it's got that print line. So if you are looking to invest in this set, you're gonna want to, and you want a gem mint set, you're gonna want to make sure that they don't have those print lines, because I do think those will prevent PSA 10 grades. I'm sure they would. It just makes sense. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, the, the art on this is great. The, the background almost has like a starry night kind of look, like the Van Gogh painting. And Ninetales is known to kind of be a, a psychic Pokemon anyway, so it's cool to see an actual psychic type. There was even a Pokemon episode where a Ninetales was like, controlling the mind of, of some person and so it's just kind of a known thing that, that the nine tails just kind of has psychic abilities so it's it's very fitting to have the delta species as psychic so yeah there it is